What is going on guys, Bogdan here from Dracula Airsoft and today I have a video for you showing you how to create an uh, airsoft suppressor insert using foam rollers. Really cheap alternative, I mean if you live in the UK you can get them like in B&Q, Screwfix, Toolstation, everybody sells them. They're, they go like a pack of 10 for about 3 pounds, much cheaper than let's say the foam inserts that you get uh, like laser cut and specially created for your type of suppressor they will be more expensive let's be honest uh, guys this is airsoft it's just a game this will do as good of a job like any special uh, laser cut foam insert will do so let's get working but before that i would like to ask you guys in the end of the video if you have enjoyed it remember to subscribe drop a thumbs up drop a comment uh, it's 14th of February today so I'm really hoping to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of February which would be great uh, check out my other content I have a few videos I have loads and loads of shorts with uh, airsoft sniper scope cam one of the videos reached like 15 million views which is absolutely crazy yeah go check them out I'm 100% sure you will like them okay guys so some basic some very basic tools for this operation we got here our foam roller we have a knife and we have our suppressor which is empty at the moment first thing you want to do guys with great care start cutting the foam if you slice it like that some of the foams will just peel off I found this ones these are I think they are from B&Q they don't really peel off once they're cut you just start and ripping it slowly off the frame of the foam sort of okay guys so now that the plastic is off plastic tube you want to cut this side off just so we have a nice hole for it you can use a pair of scissors for that the side and there we go now you could just slide this into your suppressor depending on what size your suppressor is just push it in gently but that's a bit tight of a fit in there I don't really want a, a BB uh, to hit the walls of the the foam and then just go off trajectory so what I've done is I already got mine here I've used an old spring that I had I don't even remember where this spring is from what I've done is I've put it in the middle of two, two pieces of foam just like so and then I've inserted them into the suppressor if you twist it like that it will go in nice there we go I don't know if you can see that but there's a nice consistent hole through the middle of it so that's it that's how you turn a roller into uh, an insert for your suppressor a foam insert for your suppressor hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one